So can you cook? Can you cook? Me? Yes, you, yes. Me cook and give my name the fingers. <laughs> my mommy name was Ethel Small, and my father was Philip Small. He was a farmer. And your mother? Yes, she was a dressmaker. How many brothers and sisters did you have? Four brothers and six sisters. And she was sent name, Jefferson. Jefferson Oldish. That was oh, yeah. primary at the time. When I was growing up a child, you see, I never did much trouble. No, I never did much trouble. But I used to, I used to love the companies of them, not the girls, the boys. And you were married? Yes, I mean. Tell us about how long? Oh, Two then. years. I'm about 40. 40 at least. Oh, man. Uh, when Papa died, I think it was 48 years. 40 years. So you were married from 19. 45 years of marriage. Yeah. You have children? How many? Five boys. Two girls. Charlie, Noel, Lyle, Leroy, Patrick. And then your daughters. My daughters? Yes. Dawn. Huh? Maxine. Maxine. Like you. I didn't get a lot of problem. I was just the only little girl in the house because my sister didn't grow with me. So I was the little girl among the boys. So I she she was just there like she'll teach me to do stuff. Like cooking and baking, because she used to bake a lot, like wedding cakes and all that. Mm -hmm. But um, in comparison to other kids, I think we had a good life, even though there, well, there wasn't a lot of money. But we were well taken care of. She always break my cake for my birthday, and I never forget that. I always break that cake. So then, and to her with a row, I ended up learning to beat from her because I have to do some of the mixing, so I learned some of the things. I think we had a good life. So you, you just the around every kid who lick out the pan? No. We weren't bad children. So we, you never lick out the pan when she done mixing? Yeah, yeah, we do that too. So we you have more like you don't want to talk? No, no. <laughs> That's not the reason why I was there. Is that I was there because then when you are giving, giving things to do, you do it. But then you're going to get the privilege because you are there to do those things. That's the thing. How do you feel now that she's still around? Yeah. So when I sometimes I am here and I come and just look at her and sometimes it's like us come out looking really at now. You just feel privileged and because I interact with her and she challenges my brain sometimes. She's like a treasure for us to cherish. And the thing about it, having a mother at that age and you're not tasked with the problem of you have to buy medication, you have to do all of these things for her. It is always blessing. Why do you think you live so long? Well, it's really the blessing of God. And away from them being taken care of me, I'm taking care of myself too. Okay. Try to help myself. I don't eat much, mm -hmm. but I drink a lot. I love certain things, like hockey and swordfish. Yes. <laughs> and rice and peas. What? <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, they don't want to stay there. Rust bed fruit too. What? Yes, rust bed fruit. It's run down. Run down? Mm. Uh, so can you cook? Can you cook? Me? Yes, you, yes. Me cook and give my name the cat fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the crossroad puzzle right through the day. So Why? That's my daily food. That's my daily food. To keep my brain steady. How many grandchildren? I think I have about 28. The great grand will be about 27. I pray every day. And I pray for the people. Yes. Especially those men who are shooting down the people. I pray for them that they put down the gun and accept God. 